here at Exploration, we use biomimicry on every project we do. I think the project that we've done that, that best encapsulates what, what you can learn from plants is the exhibition we were invited to put on at the Architecture Foundation in London. So this was a solo exhibition of our work and we designed these tables that would support all the exhibits and models and those tables were modelled using principles from plants. One of the plants that we looked at very closely is the giant Amazon water lily and if you look at the underside of the giant Amazon, it's the one with the really big leaves, so it can be as much as two metres across. And it has a flat surface, but then on the underside, it's got the most amazing ribs that are almost like a sort of Gothic vaulted cathedral roof. And what those ribs do is that they divide up that surface into very equal areas so that the surface can be very thin, but it can still span quite a distance and be very strong. In fact, many of them are strong enough for small children to sit on them. So we learned from that same principle to create a flat surface for the tables that was divided up with ribs so that we would create a very stiff surface using an absolute minimum of materials. So compared to a solid plinth, it used about a thousandth of the amount of material. And that gives some idea of just what kind of breakthroughs we could make if we could really learn from biology and take that through with improvements in 3D printing and manufacturing, then we could really start to make radical increases in resource efficiency. So creating structures that are far more elegant and use far less physical resources.